Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria Rose. It is so hot. It is so incredibly hot. But we're doing a very strange adventure for me today. Something quite bold. We're visiting the Great Dismal Swamp. We're staying overnight there. Now, the problem with this is you can't actually camp for the Great Dismal Swamp, but you can camp right in the center at Lake Drummond. And that's what we're gonna do. But the only way that you can get there is through watercraft. So then we had to like figure out how to rent some sort of watercraft. And it has been a process, let me tell you. So I'm nervous. I am not good with kayaking. And this is very much out of my comfort zone. But we're here in the east, going up into Virginia now. I'm just gonna do it. And I'm scared. But I hope you guys will come with me on this adventure. I've never really been to a swamp before. So we're gonna check this out in these extreme temperatures. Another problem is that there are flies, biting flies this time of year. So you're not supposed to go out there this time of year but it's the only time that we're here, so we're doing it anyways, and we had to stock up on some supplies. Another issue may be that um, we get lost trying to get there because I have no boating experience, but I don't like to think too much about those things. So we're just gonna get into this adventure. All right, so we're here at the boat launch. We called up a company last minute, and today they were able to give us a kayak. And I say us, I have another person with me, but not to put on camera. The main focus here is to repel the yellow biting flies. So we did have to stop and get some supplies. Firstly, I don't know if you can see that, they are they look kind of like wasps. They're yellow and green and they pack a punch and there's a lot of them. So we really had to protect ourselves against them. So I got this fly net and then we got clothing and gear fly spray and then hardcore um, DEET. I know it's not good for you, but DEET spray while we're kayaking. The heaviest thing that we have to take with us is a tent. This is the heaviest thing, and this is, kayak is not big. We had to fit two people, all of my camera gear, and then all of our other stuff. I don't know if we're gonna have any padding to sleep on because I don't think we'll be able to fit it. And lastly, dry bags. Very, very important when going on a kayak with all my equipment. This is gonna be a lifesaver in case something happens. The Great Dismal Swamp was originally over a million acres, but is now only 480,000. Lake Drummond is a 3,000 acre lake right in the center, which is where we are headed. Various cultures have inhabited this swamp for 13,000 years. Native Americans historically fled to the swamp for refuge from the colonial frontier, as well as Africans and African Americans taking refuge while fleeing slavery. update since my audio is completely off. I got into the kayak <laughs> and now we're going down the canal and it's absolutely gorgeous. No flies yet. There's also of course rumors of the swamp being haunted with multiple tales of mysterious lights, graveyards, Native American stories, and figures in the swamp. been rowing for 10 years. It's been a long trip, I think four miles of rowing and I'm not used to this. So um, we're finally here at the place where it's the only place you're kind of allowed to camp. So we're gonna try to find the place to get off and do a nice stretch. It's been a very peaceful ride, but I'm really tired now. And it's been very, very hot. accessible by boat and like I said it's a four mile boat ride so we have it all to ourselves and this is the feeder ditch and out there goes to Lake Drummond so if you ever feel like you want to do something random just do it like people always say they want to do things we never do them but if one day you feel like doing it just do it we did this all in a day 
So the thing about this place is it's a military little spot. Don't know if you can see. These are black wasps. I need to get out of here. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna back out slowly. So we set out to Lake Drummond, which is a, a boat ride down. It was absolutely gorgeous. We stayed till sunset. Stunning. Amazing sunset. We're headed back now. There's tons of gnats on these waters, but none of the flies really got us. So hopefully we can get down back here before it gets dark. Really tired. I'm not used to this upper body labor. So we're gonna go sleep really early because we have to get up really early to return the kayak. We rented it overnight, which is difficult to find a place to let us do. We weren't able to carry much for sleeping wise, so we just have a sleeping bag. I didn't I didn't know what to expect coming here, but it's really quiet and peaceful, so let's get ready for bed. for bed. You can, I don't know if you can hear or not, but it's so loud out there in a really good way. This is much different vibes than I think camping in Devil's Tramp, Tramping Ground. It feels less tramped upon. There's just a lot of life. There's so much life out here. Good night. Good morning. Not a lot of sleep last night. <laughs> Maybe none. And it is five in the morning. We have to get back really early and it takes about two or so hours. So we're packing up really fast. Head out again. After this, we need to drive all the way to Washington, DC. So it's gonna be a long day. Lots of peaceful sounds. And I bet it'll be a lot easier without the burning, burning sun to go through the swamp again. If you want a good tent, this tent is actually very good. It is from Walmart and it's like $50. And surprisingly, it's it's just very sturdy and roomy and cute. Like it's worked really well. It is very moist. It feels like it's rained, but it has not. Everything is soaked. I kind of want this to air this out at some point. Also, I don't recommend like camping without any type of pad or any blankets.
a couple hour hike up. Kayak in the morning. Back is killing, but I feel accomplished. We did it. We survived. Nothing bad happened. There's no problem with the bugs. There's no problems with anything. The animals we saw, we saw a bobcat, I think, and maybe some sort of possum or weasel at nighttime, and just heard lots of frogs. So if you're afraid to go kayaking and camping in a swamp, you don't need to be. I am exhausted. I'm so tired. But now we have a four hour drive to DC. So if you want to come along real quick to Washington, DC, I've never been there. So might as well. The tent got super moist. Back to Yuki. Okay, well, we're out of the swamp in a very uh, different area now in Washington, D.C., but we're in front of the treasury right here, and it's very different going from the nature, the swamp lands, and then being into the city, but like getting here was excruciating. As you guys know, I don't have any AC in my Jeep, so we were sweating for hours upon hours. And it is almost 100 degrees today here. I'm gonna show you around DC just a little bit, just to have that contrast between nature and the city. So let's go look at Washington, DC. Right here behind me is the White House. So here we have the Lincoln Memorial and right outside here I'm going to show you that one popular scene in Forrest Gump where she runs into the water, um, the monument back there as well. It's 100 degrees, 101, but it's the Washington Monument back there and it's really pretty. I mean, not much to say about it. Someone's getting married down here and someone's having, I think, a quinceanera. While staying here in D.C., they upgraded us to the top corner. So this is the nicest hotel room I've ever had in my life which was a great surprise after the grueling drive here. So I just wanted to show it to you real quick just before I leave. So we got this full top floor. Look at that. Washington DC was a lot less touristy than I thought it was going to be. Um, we didn't get to see as much as I wanted to because it got really, really, really hot and like I felt physically ill. So I stopped filming. I did see some things, enough for me. And now it's time to drive out of this city. <sighs> it's been a lot of doing things. I haven't been filming everything, but you get the gist. Anyhow, I guess I should end this video here. I find myself missing the city sometimes and then when I'm in the city, I miss the country. It's really hard to decide what I really want like as a more permanent thing. I need to choose something and work towards something and not flip flop everywhere, but you know, I think we all have these decisions that are really just hard to make. Stay tuned for the next adventure in the next video, whatever that may be, because as always, I don't know. Hopefully a new vehicle, because driving in this type of heat in Yuki has been hell. Anyways, stay to terrestrial, and I'll see you in the next video.